Hello, baseball fans. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Let, let's talk about last year for a second. I mentioned this moment to you uh, right before the interview. I got to throw it back to the NLCS Game 6. Uh, Luke Jackson, who we just mentioned, has a rare struggle for last year. Two runners on, second and third, seventh inning, and Game 6 against the Dodgers. The greatest setup man ever here. You know, like sometimes sometimes your struggles make some, some, of the, some people great. And Tyler doesn't thank me enough for putting him in such a great situation with uh, second and third no outs. But uh, he stepped up and probably the three biggest strikeouts, I think, of the whole uh, playoff run. And... You come out, you not only face, you know, you have, you have no outs with runners on, but you face three righties. Uh, just, just, I was there. I, I know what the stadium was like. I've never seen it quite like that before that, and I don't know that I'll ever see it like that since. Walk me through coming out of the pen. Yeah, I was out there in the pen. Um, I said, hey, Matt, you're kind of going to cover Luke, so kind of just be ready, be moving around. I said, okay, sounds good. And then I saw Luke getting into a little bit of trouble, and uh, so I, turned it on in the pen and you know I just wanted to get out there and help Luke you know I knew that he was struggling a little bit just didn't have it that night um, and then I was feeling pretty good so I was like hey let me at him you know I want to get out there I want to go go and help my boy who's uh, who's struggling right now so uh, they call me in and you know in that situation runners on on you know second and third the first out is the most important one we get a first out it frees up you know being able to walk set up a double play that whole thing and the best way to do that, get that first first out, was to, to get a strikeout. I don't want to overlook who you struck out. Number one being Albert Pujols, who's you know at the tail end of his career, but is having a monster year this year. But a legendary hitter, Souza, and then of course Mookie Betts. It's one of those things that you'll remember for the 2021 World Series. You know that that inning, those plays, those outs, all huge. I mean, th that that's one of those moments that you can't replicate. Uh, unless it happens this year, of course. But it, again, just a great moment. And uh, you know, did you know then that this team, you know, was going to win the World Series? Is that when you knew, or was it later? I mean, we still had to, we still had to win that game. You know, I think getting past the Dodgers was a huge task for us. Um, you know, they'd stopped us the year before. Um, but yeah, once once uh, we were able to shut down that inning, um, you know, we trusted. I, I was able to go back out and get another, you know, an eighth inning, solid eighth inning, and. Uh, you know, I felt like we were in a good position to win. Will came out, did his thing, and um, off to the World Series we went.